Okay, um, today I want to go over the settings of our Range Bars plugin version 2. And let's start from the top. Range. Uh, this is probably the most important setting. It defines the bar size in pips, uh, which you'll see on the range chart. Let's change this to uh, six and a half pips. Output time frame. Uh, this defines the offline chart that will be created in order to host our range bars. Uh, let's put that as for ease of use on the time frame six. Five decimal broker setting. Uh, this is simply used to ease the eye, and uh, what it does is rescales our uh, range setting by a multiple of 10. So, uh, for example, we can specify 6.5 uh, pips here instead of 65 pips, where 65 pips on a five decimal chart is the same as 6 pips on a classic uh, four uh, decimal charting software. Disable comment. Uh, this is not really that important. It simply uh, restricts the uh, info strings from being displayed on the chart, uh, which is used to attach the indicator. Uh, you can set this to true if you don't like your charts being messed up. Refresh window on ask price change. Um, so this is uh, set to false by default. Uh, what this simply does is prevents the range bar chart from uh, refreshing each time the ask price changes. Uh, basically, if you don't use the ask line on your charts, you can leave this uh, at default. Render using one minute history bars. Here we define the number of one minute bars used to render historical uh, range bars on our new chart. Uh, if you don't need that much history, leave this at default or change it to uh, whichever value you like. And just remember that a setting of zero uh, will use your entire one minute history file. So you have a large history file and a slow PC, uh, it might take a while, so keep that in mind when you set this. Sound signal on new bar. Uh, it's pretty much self-explanatory, and uh, the only thing new here is uh, a keyword alert box. So that's alert underscore box. Okay, and uh, if you type alert box here. This will use the MetaTrader alert component to uh, inform you about new bars being formed. Backtesting. It's a new setting, but we'll go over this in a separate video. But for uh, your trading purposes, you should never trade. You should never uh, set this to true, or it will mess up your five-minute charts and history. I'll tell you why in the next video. And um, last but not least is the key variable. You need to use this uh, once per MetaTrader installation as the input key here uh, will be saved to a file and will automatically be loaded each time you restart the indicator. Just paste. Uh, one second. Let me just uh, paste the key I have here. Okay. Okay, um, now the new plugin is uh, doing its work and we can call up the six minute offline chart of the pound dollar. Now let's do that. And as you can see, the chart is ticking in real time, and we can apply indicators, scripts, and um, as of version 2, also EAs. Uh, they can be driven, and they will be driven, from the um, incoming ticks on the offline chart. Okay, that's basically it. Thanks a lot.